Hi, and welcome to Think EBF for Kernel Security Monitoring, Falco at Apple. My name is Eric Sage, I'm from the Linux Kernel team, and I'll be joined by Melissa Kilby from the Security Engineering team, and we're going to discuss how we deployed Falco at Apple. Before we do that, however, I'd like to discuss why the Linux Kernel team at Apple loves BPF. There are inherent risks with running kernel modules that run third-party code in the Linux kernel. Kernel modules have full access to all kernel data structures and kernel functions. BPF programs, on the other hand, are limited to the BPF virtual machine, BPF helper functions, and are verified by the in-kernel BPF verifier. This makes them easier to audit and greatly reduces the impact of bugs and vulnerabilities. We also love that BPF programs reduce our usage of heavy, out-of-tree kernel bypass frameworks, large modules, and modules that are running third-party code that we have to audit. And we also love that we can reduce these modules into small BPF programs that are dedicated to a certain type of processing, such as XP programs for packet processing, probes and trace points for event tracing, and socket filters for filtering network traffic. We also love BPF because we can view, analyze, and debug BPF programs using a common set of tools built on top of libbpf, a library that works on top of the BPF syscall. For example, BPF tool, which resides inside of the kernel source, allows us to view BPF maps, BPF programs, and the number of times a BPF program has been invoked, and the amount of memory that the BPF programs are using inside of the kernel. We also love compile once, run anywhere, which allows us to run a BPF program using BTF type information on top of several kernel versions, which is a great improvement over our current strategy of deploying kernel modules. The last but not least, we love that it's kernel native and that we do not have to rely on out of tree device drivers, modules, or on frameworks and processes that are not native to the kernel and that we get the full support of the Linux kernel development community. Thank you. Now let's hear from Melissa. Falco monitors how processes make requests to the kernel. Syscalls never lie and have the potential to capture a full picture of attacks. Falco's rule engine enables effective on-host data collection. Let's demo how Falco can identify entire classes of vulnerabilities and attacker behavior off the chain together to a nice kill chain. Our target is a web application that contains an arbitrary file read vulnerability. The curl command uploads the PHP payload using a local file include. The listener on the attacker machine catches the reverse shell after unleashing the attack over a second curl command that causes the payload to execute. The payload effectively hooks bash standard in standard out to the TCP socket. It turns out that the package manager RPM is terribly misconfigured. The current user account can run the RPM binary, literally anything as root. Next, let's zoom into Falco's BPF driver. Falco defines various BPFs and for instance, sysaccess BPF traces system call exits. BPF tail calls are made to jump into another eBPF program. This is because Falco selects the correct filler for each event type based on a conditional block. Within each filler, the event is parsed and relevant data pushed onto the ring buffer up to user space for Falco rules evaluation. When it comes time to optimize your Falco deployment, we recommend measuring the average time spent in each BPF using the BPF tool. However, granularity at the BPF tail call level is not yet supported by BPF tool. Selectively activating and deactivating system calls can help inform you about the tags associated with your deployment. In the BPF tool output, only the main BPFs will have the stats info, and they appear in the order the sections are parsed. Finally, correlating CPU and BPF times indicates that as the load on servers increases, more CPU is utilized, for instance, to process more system calls faster. Low-level control of every aspect of your Falco deployment allows for thorough control of resource utilization implications and customizations. For example, each additional system call included in your Falco rules will have different performance impacts. In a similar way, verbose logging can cause excessive data generation. Finally, centralized data science approaches are needed on top of the Falco logs in order to derive high-value and actionable insights and detections. Thank you. 